Oh, I found it. I found the one of the images from the film. Oh god. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh god, that that oh my god it it, it, it looks so young. Let's see. Um Oh my god, he's doing the Dawson's Creek face. Oh fuck, I know what's going on in this mission. Sure Guess Run. what? I have to fly through a goddamn sandstorm. Uh, oh, oh no. This, oh my god, this game is gonna, this stage is... It's gonna wreck you. It's, yeah, no, because because of the Go strong gusts, it. because of how strong Sorry. the gusts are, it flows off my control so fucking hard, dude. Oh, um, uh, since, uh, since we're a true gamer, Kevin mentioned a quote that was from Woody. Did you know that the one, uh, that one particular scene where Tim Allen said, you are a sad, strange little man. Did you know that was improv? Probably. You know what? I will not be surprised if that is. Because, like, okay, I know that Tim Allen has had a bit of a bad track record from the past. Oh, God, I'm being gusted. Oh, God! I'm trying to... Urgh, come on. Come on. Readjust. 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 Fuck me! Tim oh, Allen. God. No, I'm bad sorry. As, as no, you're fine. Yeah, as much as Tim Allen has a bit of a bad track record, he, um... He did some pretty good roles in his films. And yes, I'm one of the few people who enjoyed some of his moments from Wild Hogs, despite how homophobic that movie was. <laughs> it was? Yeah. Man, it's been years since I've seen that. Same. I don't think I've ever seen that movie. It, you're you not that much. That for the stream. Yeah, essentially, it's about a group of da a group of um, middle-aged like, fathers who are like tired of their boring lives and they want to go on a motorcycle. They're trip. going on. They're going on through a midlife crisis, and yeah. Yeah, it has uh, Tim ah. Allen. Yeah, it's got Tim Allen. Uh, I think it was Martin Lawrence. <sighs> Who else? William Macy and John Travolta. Travolta. Ugh. Fuck see. this mission, dude. I'm trying to remember some other, um, some other movies Tom Hanks did. Aside from those that we mentioned. I mean, there was A Bridge of Spies, but I don't know, that hasn't really memorable. Hmm. Yeah. That's the thing about Tom Hanks, he's kind of just a safe choice sometimes. Sometimes. It's, um, it's, it, it feels almost too safe. You know who also feels too safe with most action movies? Hmm. What? Tom Cruise. Oh, God. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but I still love Top Gun, and I still enjoyed a few of his flicks. I do know that in real life, he's a fucking asshole. I mean, the whole I mean, Scientology no. thing is kind of... Oh, God, like, yeah. No, the whole Scientology thing is just... It's just... Blah. It's better off that you ignore it. You know, the same thing can be said for John Travolta, and yet he could do his roles well. Like, I loved his role in uh, Pulp Fiction. I still remember walking through LA and seeing the uh, Scientology one, a Scientology center. Oh like, huh. no! There's two. When a cup, when I went with my friend Josh to um, see the Pink Floyd exhibit um, in Hollywood, as we were just walking around, um, like down the, the street oh, where the Hollywood, Star uh, Hollywood fuck stars me. were. Literally right in front of us, from from across the street, with a fucking Scientology building. Oh no! Uh, oh, and to dear. make it worse, if you live in the L, if you're pretty much within the LA area, there is the infamous Big Blue building of that literally, that literally looks like a high school, like a high school, high school place, mm -hmm. with five floors and such. And right at the very top is just these big ass letters that say Scientology. Isn't there like some big ass compound that that was that cost like a billion dollars to build or something outside of L.A. or at least in uh, the I, uh, There it is. I think it's called the Hole. I think it's the Hole, um, and I wouldn't be surprised. Come on, you son of a bitch! Can't solve homelessness, but can you know? It's Mine, like, can placate a bunch of fucking nutters. Yeah. Oh, there he is. 
Scientology to Oh, I stuck in a fucking canyard. What a piece of shit. All right. Alien ghosts exist in all of us by the Dark Lord. Uh, what was it? Dude, Scientology was made up. It yep. was written. Yeah. It was created by a science fiction writer. Yeah, L. Ron fucking Hubbard. And I can't believe yeah. that they tried to adapt one of his fucking books, Battlefield Earth, which, like, I'm not a Scientologist, but I legit like that movie on the count of just how shitty it is. Like, every shot is a Dutch angle. And the acting was so ridiculously over the top. It's like this, uh... D what was it? L. Ron Hubbard also had a... What was it? A music uh, thing made. Oh, yeah, it was an album based off of one of his book series that was performed by Edgar Winter. Mm-hmm. There's the sons of bitches. I got a... I'm now morbidly curious to hear that. It was an entire album based off of an L. Ron Humbert series. I think it was like the last one before he died, Shit. too. You know, I would complain, but do remember that when it comes to Rush, they took excessive influence from Ayn Rand. Jesus right, freaking Ayn Rand. Christ. <laughs> and let's see. Jesus freaking Christ, I just looked at the weather for Friday, and it's gonna be a terrible... Yeah, it's looking Fucking like across the board it. on Friday that's going to be weird. I know it's going to be warmer than usual over here, but... It, it, it's going to be in the hundreds Friday. Ugh. Is it <sighs> is it going to be dry heat or humidity? It's... I don't know for sure, but by the... Uh, by the looks of it, it might possibly be humid, humid heat. Ugh. That's a worse here in Texas is when it's humid heat. It's one thing when it's dry heat, but when it's humid heat, oh my god, it's terrible. Oh, dry heat is just the worst. It, it's. I think it, they're both in the I mean, spectrum. No, no, Honestly, no, 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 dry, no, 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 no I got that. I got that wrong. End of story. No, I. I yeah. No, I got that. Sorry, I said that wrong. I had dry heat in the back of my mind, but uh, I meant to say dry heat is so much better than humidity. Like yeah. humidity, yes. like I, 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 I was thinking about a nice dry seventy degree day and how nice that was to drive in. Dude, that's a perfect weather uh, to go out for a swim. I know, perfect, right? Perfect for a swim. Perfect for a drive. Yeah. Yeah. Open your it windows. Just cruise along. It's a shame, too, because my mom has that Friday off, and I'm like, well, that sucks. So what are we going to do that's going to be tolerable to do for the heat? I, I have no idea what we're going to do this Friday, because I try to do some stuff involving my daughter for this month before she goes with her father in July. Aww. So I've been trying to do some stuff with her so she's not always on the tablet every day. Gotcha. Like, uh, just last week, we have a water park next to, like, a little water center, aquatic, aquatic center that acts more like a water park, right in the area where we, right close to where we live. And I was like, you know what, that'd be fine. It's not so hot. It's tolerable. So we went there for a swim for about... I'd say three hours? It was nice weather too, so I was like, this is gonna come and bite me in the butt, isn't it? And lo and behold, what happened the next week? Hundreds! 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 Yay! Ugh! Screw this Texas heat! Ugh! Honestly, any <laughs> heat is bad heat. Yeah. Texas just... just I fucking Texas hate the just summer. Really... Yeah, Texas just gets it really bad during the summer. I know that you guys have it worse when it comes to the summer, but still, I hate the heat. I think the one that has it worse than us is Arizona. Oh, did you guys see the, uh, what's his name, Ryan Gosling thing from the from the Barbie movie? No, I haven't seen that. Wait, there's gonna uh, be a Barbie movie? Yep. Oh yeah, there's a Barbie movie. Um, yeah. Okay. No surprise. Well, uh, there he is. Okay, I'm Goslin fucking playing Ken. Ken. Let me see this. Let me see this. Destroy radar sites. 
Oh, oh my Jesus. god, that that hair does not suit you, dude. Why are you wearing that? I don't I recall know. Kin. I don't recall Kin always constantly showing his chest. No, I mean that. No, there was a lot showing his chest, if I remember correctly. I don't recall that in the bar in the series that I'm. He looks I'm like a skinwalker. We must eradicate him. Oh, fuck! <laughs> it's like anyway. he. It's like clashing styles of clothing too. Like he's got the douche. Oh wait, no. Oh no, I'm sorry, Golden. What? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I, I think mean, I know where you're going with it. Hang on, I, I gotta take a look at this. Is it in the uh, game in chat? Yes. Yep. Who the fuck is that? That's, That's Ryan Gosling. Gosling. He's, he's playing Ken in the Barbie movie. He looks like... He, he looks too <laughs> old. I know, it does not fit him at all. He almost looks middle-aged. He looks like a middle-aged dude from the 70s. Mm -hmm. Where's the porno mustache? Oh my god, no, Riley, Whoa, no. Jesus. Fucking skin that goddamn mountain. Fucking hell. Where are these goddamn missiles coming from? If I had to guess, the enemy. <laughs> Logic. I love how he even has Ken printed on his uh, his underwear that's above his. Uh, Narcissistic pants. much? I mean, Jesus. I don't think I don't... Ken in the Barbie series was even like that. No, I... I'm, I'm pretty sure it's. Um, part of me thinks it's narcissism. Part of it me me thinks it's because he's so dumb he needs to label his clothing to find it. That would be pretty funny. If that is the case, then I would laugh. I mean, it, it's fair if you lived in a house with, like, people of the same gender sometimes, but at, at the same time, like, just plastering it out front and bringing it above your waist like that. Yeah. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Yeah. I think a lot of us are. Like, the movies, like, there hasn't even been a trailer out yet. No. Uh -oh. Like, who knows? Maybe it'll turn out to be somewhat silly, like like a harmless movie. Hopefully. It's probably going to I mean, be I... like that Bratz movie where it was just terrible but forgettable. Yeah. I, mean, I, I heard the Life in the Dreamhouse series was actually decent and could make you laugh from time. I, I Yeah, I heard that too. I think the reason why it worked so well was because they kind of deconstructed <sighs> Barbie. They kind of had... Because you know with the, with the dolls, they have Barbie be super perfect and such, which, you know, I think is, so, which I think is pretty interesting. So, you know, empowerment. But with the actual Is it, though? Movie, what? Like, I'm sorry, but, like, is it really empowering to basically be nothing but a caricature of what people think the perfect woman is? I mean, depending on who you and ask... And that perfect is... woman just so happens to only be capable of riding horses and cleaning and conjuring clothes. I mean, to be fair, from what I've heard, there are many different interpretations of Barbie, but, you know, let's get, not, not get into that, but... Anyway, um, I, with, I mean, with, um, you were saying I was, gonna, I was just going to say that with the Barbie Dreamhouse series, they kind of basically made Barbie more goofy and hyperactive, which kind of added more to her character, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say, I guess that also has to do with how they work with the comedy to get a wider appeal instead of just being, you know, something for little girls. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Barbie, this reminds me of something. We were at the Target not too long ago, and in this Barbie section, we saw something I was never expecting. Barbie with fur suits. Um, fuck. I am, I am not kidding. It's a thing now. So I guess Barbie goes to a furry convention. I guess. I don't Man, they're know. really, they're really trying to get into the modern age, aren't they? I mean, they to be, are. I mean, I'm not surprised. The show I mean, Lucifer. Wait, what? I mean, I like how they've been having more body sizes for the for the Barbie dolls nowadays oh, yeah. and stuff. Instead I think of being that's a, a goddamn good stick figure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I still know this much about Barbie. 
Barbie water hurts her apparently. But oh, yeah, I, 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 got that I still remember. I would uh, watch some of the old Barbie uh, animated films with my little cousins in like the two thousands and shit. I forgot so that was even that a was, thing. That's how I was introduced to Kelly Sheridan before uh, Starlight. Yeah. Hey, same. She was wasted on that role. Bitch. <laughs> Ouch. I'm guessing you don't like Starlight. Uh, I love Starlight. Riley... No, I was asking. I was asking Riley. Yeah. Oh, Riley hates Starlight. I think a lot of people do. Just, I wouldn't say I'm nope. a huge fan. Understatement. Also, Riley, I wanted to Starlight's show you what I've been working character on. entire character can be summarized as oh, yeah, consequences. Yeah, yeah. Never heard of him. He's looking interesting. I, yeah, I, yeah. I think it's. Like I'm gonna put my dog in your head. I think the gaps between the keys are. Is it a little? Is it a little off? Yeah, it, it, it's a little off. That's fine. That's what I thought. That, that's why I'm, I haven't colored it yet, so that way I can fix it. Is it supposed to be your own kind of Keyblade, or...? Yes. What the hell's okay. going on here? This is it a... Just uh, like, it just looks like you put hourglasses through it. Yeah, Sorry. the... It's okay, I... It's okay. It's just the way this key... The teeth of this key is designed. Oh, okay. Hey, Jess. Yes? I may or may not be done with a thing that I cannot go into detail about until I'm done with the let thing. Me, let me see it. Let me see what you did. I, I'm not done. But oh. I'm telling you I'm nearly done. Oh, okay. I have to be done to show you. And I'm not. <laughs> I also, like, the second picture that I did that you see, Riley, that's supposed to be a badge for her. For my character. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh shit, that's right. She was Songo and in Inuyasha. I forgot about that. Who? Uh, uh, Kelly Sheridan. Oh yeah!